Is it possible that everything we've been taught about Jesus Christ is wrong? What if I were to tell you that there is significant historical and scriptural evidence suggesting that Jesus Christ was not only married, but that he was survived by at least one child? In 1945, a group of farmers in Nag Hammadi, Egypt, made a discovery that would change everything we know about Christianity. They discovered a clay jar that contained over 50 biblical scrolls dating back to the 3rd century AD, making these scrolls much older than the New Testament. These texts were first-hand accounts written by close friends and followers of Jesus Christ, such as the apostles and family that comes from Jesus. These secret teachings include the Gospel of Thomas, Gospel of Philip, Gospel of Mary, Gospel of the Egyptians, and many other lost books. Among these scrolls were passages that hinted at a unique relationship between Jesus and Mary Magdalene. For example, the Gospel of Philip, chapter 63, verse 32 through 36 reads, There were three who always walked with the Lord, Mary, his mother and her sister, and Magdalene, the one who was called his companion. His sister and his mother and his companion were each a Mary. This term, companion, holds more weight than many might realize. In the Coptic language, it translates to spouse, suggesting a possible marital relationship between Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Moreover, the Gospel of Philip goes on to mention that Jesus loved Mary Magdalene more than all his disciples and often expressed his affection for her. Such a notion, while radical, indicates that Mary Magdalene was more than just a follower. She held a privileged position among his disciples, perhaps even sharing a special bond with Jesus himself. Adding further intrigue, the Gospel of Mary recounts a vision where Peter acknowledges that Jesus loved Mary Magdalene more than other women and asked her to share the words of the Savior that were hidden from the rest of them. This interaction not only highlights Mary Magdalene's unique relationship with Jesus, but also challenges the traditional gender roles and societal norms of the era. Could these passages be evidence of a marital relationship between Jesus and Mary Magdalene? Another passage from the Gospel of Philip reads, As for the wisdom who is called the barren, she is the mother of the angels, and the companion of the... Unfortunately, we don't have the rest of the passage, but we can certainly fill in the blanks here with what appears to make sense. Mary Magdalene. He loved her more than all the disciples, and used to kiss her often on her mouth. This passage suggests a special bond between Jesus and Mary Magdalene, one that surpasses the traditional disciple-teacher relationship. In the Gospel of Mary, Peter addresses Mary Magdalene as sister, acknowledging that Jesus loved her more than other women. He requests her to share the teachings of Jesus that others may not know. Her response, I will teach you about what is hidden from you, implies that she was privy to knowledge not shared with the other disciples. This special trust placed in her by Jesus challenges the societal norms of the time, which marginalized women and restricted their roles within religious circles. These passages have stirred considerable controversy and led to a re-evaluation of the role of women in early Christianity. They've also sparked debates about the nature of the relationship between Jesus and Mary Magdalene. The question remains, was Mary Magdalene merely a disciple or was she Jesus' wife? A more recent discovery, known as the Gospel of Jesus' Wife, has added fuel to the fire of this debate. Unearthed in 2012, this intriguing text is a fragment of ancient Coptic script inscribed on a small piece of papyrus. One phrase, in particular, has drawn significant attention. Jesus said to them, My wife. This tantalizing snippet begs the question, Did Jesus refer to a spiritual wife? as some traditional interpretations would suggest, or a literal earthly spouse. If the latter, could this wife have been Mary Magdalene, as other ancient texts imply? In the society of Jesus' time, a Jewish man remaining unmarried was a rarity. The building of a family, the bearing of children, these were considered moral imperatives of Jewish law. So, would it not stand to reason that Jesus, as a Jewish man, might have also adhered to these societal norms, yet the implications of such a revelation are profound. If Jesus was married, it challenges long-standing religious doctrines and alters our understanding of his life. It paints a picture of a Jesus who was not only a spiritual leader, but also a husband, possibly a father. A Jesus who lived a human life in all its complexity and richness. Could this be the undeniable proof that Jesus was indeed a married man?